My prediction model nailed the last F1 podium before the lights went out. And I built it on my kitchen table while making the kids pack lunches. Today, I'll show you exactly how I train ChatGPT to predict sports. Step by step, so you can use the same workflow at work, in fantasy leagues, or just for fun. Even beat a few analysts. And then failed hilariously at my kids sports day. Ready? Let's build it. Look, I'm a busy dad, not a data scientist, but with ChatGPT and a stubborn curiosity, this worked. Here's the plan. Number one, research the right methods. Two, turn them into a reusable ChatGPT model. And then three, we will live test on a racing event and football. Okay. A bare question like this is junk. No role, no method, no criteria, and the result shows. We fix that by feeding it a real methodology first. In my opinion, that sucked. Elicit is an incredible resource. You can search for studies, journals, literally on any topic and any niche in any topic. I use Elicit here to grab papers on sports prediction, analytics using, mach using mach machine learning, risk and forecast methods. You can do this for any topic, team motivation for work, parenting strategies, whatever your real life need is. Then over to Notebook LM from Google. This helps to summarize everything. You can then build mind maps and get clean takeaways to be able to then turn all those rules into checklists. Having a quick chat, chat with the bot just validates we've got the right resources before we then build and move on. It's another powerful tool. Chat with your documents like any chat bot, create mind maps, podcasts to listen to as well, and study guides and quizzes. So however you consume information, this can help. From the papers, I then distill a simple method card. Inputs we must include how to reason, how to check uncertainty, and the card is the backbone for the model. Next, I set up a project within ChatGPT, upload the studies, all the documentation, and then write detailed project instructions. The role it plays, the method it follows, and how it should behave. I'll alliterate this by actually talking it through with ChatGPT and, 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 and asking it, you know, telling it, this is what I want to do. This is what I'm building. Give me suggestions. What should I, what should I include? What am I missing? At a very high level, you have a role in this case, sports forecasting analyst following research backed methods, the studies coming in, the process, base rates, factor live context, quantify uncertainty, reference the studies for methodologies. Fairness and bias, avoid team bias. Always prefer data prior results over anything else. And then ask inform info. If data's missing, ask me for it, don't guess. Then for even more of my secret sauce here, I then add sp sports specific content packs. So it's part of my prompt when requesting predictions. So for example, Formula One, minute by minute weather reports, tire allocations, practice qualification notes, track history, uh, for football, if I've got the lineups, they'll go in, injuries, tactical notes, anything I can give the model, basically. Yeah, so give the model all the information you can to give it your best shot. Finally, then when prompting for the prediction, I'm clear with what I want. Football, for example, I'll ask for the game, game outcome, scoreline, stats, scorers, and if I want a match report as well, I'll ask it for a narrative to get that match report style feedback. Then, the final golden tip here, end every prompt here with, if anything is missing, ask me for clarification. This stops overconfident nonsense, helps with hallucinations and validates that you're giving it everything it needs. Okay then, let's go through two live tests. What, what could go wrong? All right, unfortunately, there's no Formula One for another two weeks. So we're going to use this weekend's NASCAR event in Daytona for a racing example. We'll go ahead and grab the location which we've got here. We will then go ahead and run and get a full detailed weather report for just before when the race starts through to it ends. 
get the entry list of drivers, bang that all in, and with the, the prompt for what I want out of this, you have to pardon me, NASCAR's not my strongest sport. <laughs> Great, and then we let it run, grab a cup of tea, and come back to it in a minute. Five minutes later. Nice. Let's look at this football example again and compare it to the output we got from the basic prompt from earlier. Again, we'll pull the weather report and then we'll ask specifically for outcomes, score lines, goal scorers, expected goals, possession stats, and a short statistically probable narrative of key moments. Now we can see the quality of this output versus the output from the simplistic prompt from earlier. It's night and day. You can see it's it's show it's showing you know, it's showing them reasoning, not just vibes and, and feelings. And then after you've run it, if something else happens, if a key injury happens, you know, something out of the blue, then just give it that extra information and rerun it. Now, imagine using the same approach to tackle work issues. It's, it's a game changer, honestly. When it's right, it's brilliant. When it's wrong, we learn, we adjust the inputs, tighten the rules and reduce those variance plates. Where it failed spectacularly though, my kid's sports day. There's no model for the physics of a six-year-old with an egg and a spoon. But as I say, this isn't just for sport. Are you a manager at work? Pull studies on team motivation and cohesion. Run it through. Parent, research ADHD strategies. Use elicit, elicit compress and validate with notebook LM and then build a project and rules in chat GPT. Then run prompts with clean inputs and ask for clarification. Please reach, reach out to me for any help with any of this. My socials are down below and you can send me a message on my website, which is linked down below as well. All right, you've seen the research pipeline, the project build, the sports specific inputs and two live tests and how to adapt it for real life. If this has been interesting and you want more helpful AI tips and guides, sign up to the newsletter down below and make sure you follow me on socials. And if you're a sports loving parent who wants practical AI advice and help, subscribe for more. This will be, I'm running this on the Premier League and the NFL and the Formula One when it comes back. What I've already done is run it on the whole Premier League season for this, uh, for this year. You can watch that video by clicking it on it next to my head up here. Thanks for watching. Stay pitchy.